The turning of effect of a force is called its moment. And the moment's calculated by multiplying the force and the perpendicular distance. This equation will be given on the exam. The unit may not be given is in Newton meters because force times distance, so it's Nm. Moments can be either clockwise or anticlockwise. So in this situation here, we're trying to turn the spanner anticlockwise. So it's an anticlockwise moment. To make it even bigger, a bigger moment, more chance of undoing the nut, you can have a bigger force or a bigger distance, or even better still, have bigger force andons. The principle of moments applies when a body is not turning, when it's balanced. And for it not to turn, the moments must be equal. The anticlockwise and the clockwise moments must be equal. So you can balance the seesaw by adjusting the weights to get it just in the right place. So we pick an example here. If you look at the first row, if on the left you have a force of 5 newtons and a distance of 20 centimetres, multiplying those two numbers together gives you 100. That's the moment on the left. So to balance it on the right, you must also have the two numbers multiplying to make 100. And therefore, 10 centimetres times 10 would be 100 and be balanced. In the second row, you'd have 6 newtons. So 6 times 10 is 60, and 4 times 15 is 60. And here, 6 times 12, and 12 times 36. And on this side, 8 times 25, and 2 times 1. The centre of mass is a point at which the mass seems to be or is thought to be concentrated. Very easy for regular shaped objects because it simply will be the center of the shape. For irregular shaped objects, you may have done this experiment, you can hang it, a piece of card for example, for any point, and you keep hanging it and you draw lines downwards, a plumb line, um, and the line will always go through the center of mass, so where the lines cross is the center of mass. Why do we look at center of mass? It's all about stability. So if you look at this hanging basket, which was an exam a few years ago, the weight of the basket appears to act at the center of mass. If it is tipped to one side, it will then rotate back until it finds itself in the stable position here. So we're talking about stability. Look at this block. If the center of mass is inside of the pivot area here, then it will be stable. If you could balance it, if you could get the center of mass just directly above this point here, then you could balance it because you'd have equal amount of mass on the left and on the right. So the principle of moments would apply and it would be stable, it would be balanced. Moving the center of mass outside of the base here would make it topple over. So body stable as long as the line of action of the weight lies inside the base. If it moves outside, then it will topple over. So, so what makes a modern racing car stable as possible? There are two reasons. It has a wide wheelbase. It also has a low center of mass. So the center of mass is going to be somewhere down here. And if you could look at it from front on or back on, you would see that, that no matter how fast the racing car went and how much of a turn it went, the center of mass would never fall outside the wheelbase area. So it's very, very stable.